Hello, my name is Philip Paul. I'm with I Dig Best, and I'm excited to show you our new patent pending valve for pilot control. This handles on excavators the bucket, skid steers, loaders, the bucket on those. It can handle booms, anything you want. It's very unique. It's very uh, sharp, tight design. And what we're going to show you is how it hooks up and how it works. It's not like any other valve out there. It takes the install down to minutes instead of hours and days. And it's very simple. It's got uh, three control valves on it, a proportional and two bang bang. And it's uh, number four ports, real easy to hook in. Um, you'll see how we use cup, quick couplers and uh, you can move it from the machine to machine. It's got some Deutsch connectors for uh, waterproofness there. This valve is very unique. So as you look at it here, it's very well labeled. It's very simple. Um, it's very strong. And it's made to be hooked in with bungee cords or you can mount it solid if you'd like. Simplicity is you got a joystick and uh, is all we have to do is tie into the joystick the lines in there. So if we add quick couplers to our valve, uh, like I said you can mount it solid, but to add quick couplers to a valve like this makes it uh, very movable and very simple to come and install. So all joysticks have six lines and they are basically pump, boom, dump, boom, curl, and tank. And as all we need is a few of them there. We just need the curl, dump, and pump and you can see we just uh, go to the pump, put a T in a coupler, and we just stick two couplers in line on the curl and dump. And it's that simple. You just unhook the quick couplers, plug them in, and hook the uh, pump coupler onto you, and you're done. Okay, so let's see the methods and why this valve is designed the way it is. You got your excavator, we got a computer system running in a dig system and we got the valve. How it works is the proportional valve on the left can be set by the computer so when you hit the button it turns the bucket to the angle that you're going to dig. So with that in mind as it pulls through the earth normally we turn up the prop valve to control the bucket but instead we're making it so it's interactive with the operator. The operator with this valve can start dumping the bucket in this case because he's trying to correct it as he's going forward. And as he dumps, he can give more power if needed in hard ground or less power in soft ground. Or if he's hovering across the air, he can just barely crack the power. And that way we don't have to put any increase on the prop valve that runs the whole system. We can actually shut it off if we want, but it doesn't matter because the priority goes to the operator to giving power to controlling the system. So therefore the operator becomes the proportional prop valve with his joystick as he's controlling the speed of the machine to what it needs. So now so he doesn't over speed or go past the grade line or flat bucket in this case, we have stop. We have a bang bang valve for stop which stops it instantly and we have a reversing valve for curl if he gets too far or we're doing complex turns and grades uh, such as a 3D system we might uh, steer a curve up and down hills and around following profiles. So it reverses the valve then and that's what we call curl. So it flips it. 